See. So what's the rundown on, this is the new one, right? 308. Okay, all right, you know what, let's just go ahead and rip it. Here with my good buddy, no, 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 Zhiga, come on, get in here, Zhiga. My brother from another mother, Slovenia, Zhiga man. We're here at the Tink Arms booth. We're talking about the new Perun 308. So now let's say, I don't know what the Perun is to begin with. Before we get into the 308, I'm more of a fig guy. I like apricots. What's a Perun? Okay. A Perun is gaffed of thunder and lightning, and we say we harness both of them, lightning and thunder, when it comes to firearms. So basically this year, we're presenting for the second time the Perun platform, this time in the 308, the new rifle. Uh, if you can see it here, if you compare it a little bit, uh, the 308 versus uh, 223 that we launched last year. It's the same concept but buffed up for the uh, 308 round. So basically where the magic is, we are trying to upgrade the existing AR-10 platform. What are the, the main concerns about the AR platform in general? You do not have a collapsible stock due to the DI system. The other thing is the ergonomics of the charging handle. So this is how the weapon should sound when you charge it. Proper man's gun. The other thing is uh, the uh, operating system, the DI. When you shoot it, uh, you have a lot of dirt inside. The last year, the most famous saying is the AR-15, it cheats where it eats. And uh, this year, my the bad joke is the AR-15 is like your wife. You have a lot of problems with her. But you have you find a way how to live with her, and this is the comparison of the air platform with this platform, and we try to remove all of it away. The other thing is when you pre uh, when you shoot it suppressed, you get a lot of gases to the charging handle and stuff like this. So we address this issue as well. Basically, what we did, we used the air 10 lower, but we shortened it so the length behind the behind the uh, grip is the same as on the air 15. So in the non-functioning non -functioning part of the rifle, we shortened the rifle for about an inch. The lower is basically air 10 lower with a buffer tube tower removed, so you can use all the uh, dropping triggers, all the safeties. Unicorn, all the AR-10 parts, I can just drop right AR-10 right parts. Unicorn color of, uh, your, of this, no yes, problem. Sure. We have the adapter that is uh, similar to the to the to, that allows you to put everything that is that can go on scar onto this rifle. You remove it, you put it out, and there is no moving parts anymore in the rifle. And the real magic in the patent stand in the gas operating system. It looks like this: you have an AR-10 uh, barrel, AR-10 barrel nut, so everything is logistically compatible with the most accessorized uh, platform in the Western Hemisphere, the AR-10. But the magic happens here. When the gases come to the AR-10 gas, uh, gas tube to the gas uh, chamber, they react with the uh, piston. gas piston, move it 10 millimeters, gives enough inertia and power to cycle, eject, reload, and get it back. It's really an unusual operating system. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a, a long stroke, like kind of a semi-long stroke. It's yeah. a hybrid. It doesn't really yeah, have yeah. a name, but it's a short-stroke gas-operated piston unicorn. Right, yeah. sure. The unicorn and the, ma the magic. This is the AR-10 bolt, AR-10 fire needle. When you shoot it, this, this bolt hides inside into a wall. So all gases that come here, 95% of the gases are vented out underneath the handguard. So this is why we have so much cleaner and better operation than with the AR-10 Classic. Uh, so, in the terms of simplicity and being dampproof... Oh, it's so easy! It's so easy, it yeah. is. It's supposed to be. Uh, and you have a working platform. What's better, this or an AR-10? I'm just curious. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, get, get, get kicked out of this booth. Okay, is this going to come to the United States at all? Don't bullshit me. I will tell you something off the camera since it's hush hush at the okay. moment, but. Uh, what does this run in Euro? If I'm in one of the European audience mm -hmm. here, I want to pick up one of these, yeah, how much does course. it cost me? Uh, we see it on the shelf. We, of course, uh, the, um, they can choose their own price, but the pricing for the 223 is around 2,000 plus euros. And we think that the 308 is going to start at 2,600 and up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, not too bad for a piston operating system. Look, Peter, I really appreciate it. Thank you. I, I, you did a great job, and I needed that because Jiga's pumping me full of these uh, individual first alcohol 
kits. Speaking of, do we let that guy off easy? This is very system? strange, JK. Very strange, JK. What, what's your honest opinion of the Perun? I know they're your Slovenian brothers, so you're going to be biased, but give I me have an to honest be biased opinion. a bit. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. Um, it's a def a definitely a really good system. Essentially, it's um, <laughs> I don't want to use this word, but it's a modular design. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a combination between uh, direct impingement and a piston system. Uh, what I would say is the kind of the um, the good parts of this system is that. You can change it and adapt it to your needs. You can use longer barrels, shorter barrels, but the biggest value of this system is that um, all of the parts, the important parts, are AR interchangeable. So for example, they can only sell you the, what is it, the chassis, uh, and you can buy AR barrel, AR bolt, uh, AR trigger, everything, and you can assemble your rifle with, with parts already uh, available in the market. So I. I would say that's kind of the biggest um, selling part of that system. An impressive platform, speaking with an impressive man. Jiga, give me some more of those IFACs, guys. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from IWA 2024.